Your boy Jay Dizzle, here with my man Memo. I was forced to do this so I can graduate, bring you the news, whatever this is. Welcome to Action G News. Why the frown, Jay Dizzle? Today's top story, the Gretna Volleyball Team. The girls are coming off an appearance in the state tournament this season. Junior sports correspondent and aspiring TikTok star Landon has a story. Take it away, Landon. The Gretna Volleyball Team has had an incredible season so far this year. The team had a rough season last year and worked very hard during the summer to improve this year. The team has been led by Coach Brandon for the last 21 years. Uh, the volleyball program needed help, so I helped with them. And then the next year, the head coach uh, resigned, and uh, I interviewed for the job and got the job, and that's kind of been it. As a senior, it's crazy to see how all the players have evolved over the years as we've been playing with each other since the beginning of middle school. Um, by being a senior this year, we just want to hold a really good standard for the younger classes. And so once we leave, we want them to uphold the Dragon standard as the classes above us have. Coaches and players talk about what it's been like being a part of this year's volleyball team. It's been a lot of fun. This is a really uh, spirited group. Uh, they practice extremely hard. It hasn't been difficult to motivate them at all. Um, they're a lot of fun to watch. Uh, it, it, they're a very tight group. Uh, there aren't any personality problems, so it's been, it's been a fun group. To be a part of the volleyball team this season, we are like a family, and we have a really tight and strong bond and connection this year. This season we have a really close team and have really good chemistry, which I think plays a big factor in how successful we've been this season. The volleyball team worked very hard in the offseason to have a better year after having a rough season last year. They also talk about their goals that they had going into this season. To prepare ourselves for the season, we have spring and summer lifting, as well as open gyms that go throughout June. And then in July, we have summer camps that go all the way up until our tryouts. In the springtime, to prepare, we lift, and that continue, continues into the summer. And we lift every Monday through Thursday in the mornings. And we also have practice and open gyms after that. And we also have some um, tournaments, like college tournaments, that we go to in the summertime as well. A lot of a lot of work during the summertime. Um, you know, summertime, the harder we work in summertime, you know, the, the better the fall tends to be. And the girls bought in and they weren't happy with last year's results. So they worked super hard in the off season and so far that's paid off. Um, my first goal this season was to finish top three in the conference, in the Metro Conference Tournament. And then our second goal was to have more wins and losses this year since we were coming off of a uh, Rough year last year, we're just really looking for a positive outcome this year. Coaches and players talk about the memories that they had this season. Um, well, this summer when we went to, uh, we did a uh, team camp in uh, Colorado. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun. The kids had a lot, a lot of fun on that road trip. Um, during the season, I think our, our, our close wins, uh, we had a five set win over Westside. That was really memorable. The team played really, really well and made some very clutch plays. Uh, beating um, Patriots and Millard South, we beat them in five and that was a really close, hotly contested match and the girls played well, so that was a, a, a good memory. The team's off-season hard work, camaraderie, and coaching gave this year's team a great season. These three characteristics will continue to build a great volleyball program through the seasons to continue. Thanks, Landon. Great work. Wasn't that great, Jay Dizzle? It was I. I indeed. We'll be right back. Are you done being tired? Well here, you need Mega Speed with electrolytes and low calories.
mega speed. And we're back. That drink's not bad, but I prefer the tears of my enemies. That's terrifying, Jay Dizzle. It's an acquired taste. Now let's go to RJ with the weather. Hello, I am your weatherman, Robert. Today is November 23rd. The weather is 31 degrees at lowest and 65 degrees at the highest. Uh, no clouds today uh, with mainly just sun. The air quality is good with a 20% humidity. Back to you, Jay Dizzle. Thanks, RJ. That was mid. That's all the time we have for you today. Have a great day. And remember, hugs, not drugs. Isn't that right, Jay Dizzle? For sure.